Large vasovascular arteritis can be broken down into Takayasu's arteritis or Giant's arteritis, which is also called temporal arteritis. Typically, in Takayasu's arteritis, um, younger individuals less than age 40 are affected, whereas in Giant's arteritis or GCA, pa patients are older about 60 years of age. So Takayasu's arteritis will present with nonspecific symptoms like fatigue, malaise, constitutional symptoms. They may uh, experience limb claudication symptoms or stroke-like symptoms. And in giant cell arteritis or GCA, patients will have cranial symptoms like headache, visual changes, scalp tenderness, jaw claudication, and um, may also present with stroke-like symptoms or blindness as uh, emergent complications of the disease. So in Takayasu's arteritis, the diagnosis is often made by CT or MR angiogram or imaging of the blood vessels that show stenoses or aneurysms. Uh, and in giant cell arteritis or GCA, the diagnosis is often made by a temporal artery biopsy, uh, typically of at least one centimeter in length or more. Both of these conditions are treated with high-dose glucocorticoids, steroids, uh, or prednisone greater than uh, one milligram per kilogram per day, and this is gradually tapered over six to 12 months. I have a pilot study uh, looking at large vasovasculitis to see whether we can differentiate active disease from inactive disease by a novel imaging method called microbubble contrast enhanced carotid ultrasound. And this will entail looking for inflammation in the adventitia vasovasorum region of the blood vessel. The goal is to see whether there are differences in the density of vasovasorum in uh, large vasovasculitis that is active versus inactive and to help differentiate between disease activity versus damage or atherosclerosis. Physicians should keep vasculitis on their differential diagnosis when patients present with nonspecific constitutional symptoms as well as elevated inflammatory markers. And they should also keep in mind that there are many research studies going on that um, may lead to better treatment and uh, disease monitoring strategies for these patients.